Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm in the mall and I actually got done with Clementine's quest over there and I actually leveled up. So yay. And now and I turned in that, that little coffee to Jack B or JB. So let's continue. Ha! Now I'm ready. Time to get out onto the open road again. Keep the home fires burning and if I'm not back by sunrise, call the councilman! What now? A delivery for James, you ask? Of course, it's right here beside me. You can trust old JB. My deliveries always get where they're going. Door to door last month, I managed to drive off the bridge to Fort Pinta three times. Three. That's a new record. It looks like a GED worker. You can tell James that JB's on his way. You'll take the order to James, you say? Oh, okay. Less work for me. I suppose take it. You pick up the delivery next to JB and take it to the janitor. Alright, let's go. And we got them pick finding uh Gordon's bag and let's continue. With this What's that over there? Anyways, seems like forgetting to lock the stock room was a pretty lucky in the end. I found time to pick up out the items on James Order while you were out looking for my rucksack. Here, who was supposed to get the order again? James? James, of course, that's how it was. Hmm, are you sure you don't need to go to the mall janitor first? Everyone else who James sends seems to go to him. And I can understand why. This order must weigh half a ton. You won't want to wander around with all that extra weight if you don't if you don't need to. Alright, well, what is this? There's a key lying on the ground. Someone must have lost it. Pro it's probably belongs to someone here at the mall. So maybe you can find out who it belongs to. Alright. Don't remove them. Let's go to the janitor before we do any of this. Hello. Hello again. So you got James' clothes order? It's quite heavy, right? I thought so. His orders usually are. I'll look after everything here while you get the rest of James' stuff. Looks like you've got the horse equipment James ordered. I'll keep an eye on it until you're ready to head back to Fort Pinto. Alright. I'm just going to go looking for... Oh! Right in there. I don't know how to spell you, say your name. My key? Thanks! I had no idea it was even missing. Here, take this as a thanks for your help. What'd I get? I didn't get nothing! You just gave me money! Okay then. Hello, janitor again. So he, there we go. Now you've got both of the deliveries James wanted. Come back to the mall tomorrow if you want. Wipe your feet on the way in. I don't want any want more dirty feet trampling over my nice clean floors. I hope you get something from James for all the trouble you've gone to. Not likely, but you're you've got yourself a bus ticket and you'll be able to come back here whenever you like. See you soon. Let's go. Why does it say again? Anyways, let's return back to James. Ah! I'm inside a horse. There you are. Let's go. Let's go, Ash Dust. Come on, you can do it! Come on. Yeah. Hello, James. Nice to see you again. No. Hey, Hazel. How did it go? Wonderful both clothes and horse equipment. These are going to sell like hotcakes. Reward. I promised you a reward. Hmm. Seems like you remembered wrong. Okay, okay, you, you can have something. Hold on, let me see what I've got in this box. Here, this is probably nice or something. You'll like it. Now you'll have to, excuse me, I've got business to attend to. Wow. And, 
Eh. Looks like we've got some things in Moreland. Just to call my big up. That's my home tables in Moreland. Anything though. Oh, May has a question. No, May. Hazel, we seem to ha be having a problem with Rosie. The cow standing over there by the wall. She's been acting strange lately, hanging her head like she's all sad or something. The vet was here, but couldn't find anything wrong with her health. I'm sure that is some that something is not right, though, and I can't bear to see her like this anymore. It occurred to me that Miss Hol Mrs. Holdsworth has a great hand with cattle. She used to have a farm herself when she was younger, and she often tells stories about different cows that she remembers, like they were all friends of hers with unique personalities. Maybe she knows what we could do cheer to cheer Rosie up. Will you go talk, please talk to her? Mm, sure. Sure. Oh. Hello there, Rosie the cow. Oh, don't. I really need to get some new brush. Just. And then. Hello. The cow is sad, you say, and you want me to cheer her up? Yes, please. I had the same problem with one of my own cows a long time ago. Her name was Wendy, and she would get the most lifeless eyes. Sometimes she would stand in the corner, staring in front of her, like all hope was gone. But I cured her. Can you guess what I did? I remembered that she had escaped from the closure once and had gone to my garden where I found her eating dandelions. So I went and got a bunch of them and made them into a brew that I fed to Wendy. Did wonders. Why don't we try if that works on your cow as well? Give me five dandelions and I'll make the brew for you. Alright. Go and get some dandelions. One, one out of five. No, oh, one out of two. Uh oh. Sorry about the phone ringing in the back. Oh my. All right, we got done with that. Do -do -do. These look fine. I'll brew the, have the brew ready for you in a while. Yeah. Here is your brew, dear. Give it to her right away, and remember to talk to her while you're at it. Everyone appreciates a little attention once in a while. Good luck, dear. All right. Let's give this to Rosie. And to do. Oh my, that was just going weird. Alright, Rosie. Here you go, Rosie. Oh, I was right up in her face. Come on, get in there. All right, May. She actually does look happier. What to the trick? A dandelion brushing? Would you believe that? No, I would not. All right, let's see what Jenna has. A new horse for me. Hey Hazel, have you heard that we've got a new horse at Moreland Stables? The horse belongs to May's cousin, but May's promised to take care of him for a few days. I've got no idea what May's cousin is called. Oh right, you mean what's the horse name? I'm afraid I don't know that either. Sphinx? Not Blanks? Nope. Jinx? No, I can't remember. What I do know is that he's so Cheeky and adorable. You and Ash just should stop by and say hello before he goes home again. Like I say, I don't know how long he'll be here, but 
talk to me. She knows more. We will. May. I heard about a new horse. Your cousin's horse. Oh no! Oh no! 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 What do I? Did you? What do you want? I haven't got time to talk. Oh no! What did you do? I'm sorry, Hazel. I didn't mean to be mean, but it's chaos here right now. Total chaos. A new horse? Mm -hmm. That's right. Well, not so much anymore. I'm just looking after my cousin's horse, Links, for a few days. Really, though, I'd love to stay and chat, but I got a little, well, actually a massive problem. The three horses that are usually here seem to have run away. Seriously, though, you're not going to believe what happened. I've just taken Links into the stable when you, when something went wrong. I don't know if he was scared or just was causing a fuss or whatever. In any case, he managed to freak the other horses out, and in all the fuss, one of them kicked over a glass wall that happened to be just lying on the floor. So not do only do we have a runaway horse, but the whole place is covered with bits of glass. Great, huh? As luck uh, would have it, Josh helped out. He took links with him away from here so that I could get on with clearing up all the class and took look out for the other horses. Why was there glass a, a glass bowl in the stable? Well, uh, yeah, that was my fault. I brought it with me to give to Jenna. She saw it in a picture. I uploaded it in a Instagram and fell in love with it. Since I had two of the same, I thought I would give her one of them when it links up arrived. I needed to put it down pretty fast and then there was all the distractions so I didn't have a chance to put it away anywhere safe. Ugh, why do I have to be so stupid? I should have been more careful. I guess there's not much I can do about it. Now, although the most important thing is to get rid of all the glass so that nobody hurts themselves. You want to help? Aw, oh, thanks so much. How lucky. Take the brush over by the wall behind me and sweep up all sweep up the little shards of glass on the table while I take care of the glass up that got outside. Be careful though and make sure you and Ash just don't get cut your don't cut yourselves. These little splinters of glass can be really sharp. Alright, I'm actually gonna get down. Let's go Ash does do stay here. Um, oh dear. Oh my. Wow, it really got scattered. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, I can't move. I can't never get up. Ah, no, 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 no. Alright, we got done with it, my wolf. Is all of the glass in the stable gone now? Thanks so much, Hazel. No problem. How nice to have swept all of the bits of glass. I imagine getting one of them is stuck in your foot. Uh, I get the shivers just thinking about it. Now we need to get the horses home as well. They can't go have gotten too far. Oh, why do I have to be so clumsy, Hazel? Would you be able to ride out and look for them? You've already got ashes all set up and ready. Thanks. Seriously, I owe you for this. Take the sugar lumps take these the sugar lumps with you. Use them to get the runaway horses to follow you home. Right. Hopefully I can do it next time. Go 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 faster go. go here. I know I know. Bam. But for I'm actually gonna have to keep this on the next episode.